Hello again, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And what you are seeing in front of you is the uh, Stage 2 Part 2 video that did not record. Like so. And I will be posting Part 1, but I'm not sure why. Um, anyway, so it inspired me to grab this long-standing 24 by 24 inch primed canvas and do as much of the similar stuff as I can. I've got a 16 by 16 inch tile on there and I'm going to be balancing on the frame on the diagonal. So hopefully, and I'm going to check that I'm recording one more time just because you are still there and that's as far out as I can zoom. So I know it's a rather large canvas and you might be in the dark for a while. I think I'm going to try my hardest to put a center point into the canvas. Not sure what that was that just broke. Um, looks like part of my easel just decided to self-destruct. That's over somewhere else. So I want to make sure that this is in the center without having to measure it. And uh, that's only because I have no measuring tape with me right now. But that looks to be pretty good. I'm going to do this by eye because <laughs> I'm a risk taker. I'm not happy that I'm... Yeah, well, I'm pretty close. So I'm gonna take my gold paint. Look over. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> she says, not sure at all. And I would like it if my paint would actually come out. Whoa, not in my face or under the canvas. Be even better. All right. So the only reason I'm starting like this is because that's the way I started recently on this other thing. And I'm hoping that I can get this to puddle the way I would like it to. If you see a little schmutz on my canvas, it's really not a problem, I don't believe. I'd like something. Oh, that's what I'd like. I'm going to use the bottom of my silicone cupcake cake container and see if I can spread that paint out somewhat evenly early on while it still has a chance to level itself out because the flow troll is a leveler so that could work and then just like I had to do yesterday's Orby sunburst thingy the <laughs> black hole whatever um, well not a black hole I have one of those too um, just like I had to do part two on that, I might have to do part two on this. So I'm going to trust that that's going to level itself out, and I might be very tempted to just take the rest of that paint, put it down in the center, or put a little more paint in the center. I'm going to wipe that off, clean my spatulas. I think putting my glasses on my face at this point might be a really good idea. I'm going to look for and find a straw. blow it from up top. I'm hoping I have enough of the colors I want for everything to start this. If I don't finish this today, so be it. I want to utilize as much of the black negative space as possible. Yeah, that was risky. And I'm willing to put down something of a heavy layer of white paint because it's getting hot out here and the thicker my paint is the longer it will stay wet and I need it to stay wet long enough for me to do what I'm going to do. Now I used colors I love but I also used some black and even though this black has a really big cut top I'm still thinking I can get away with it adding some color I'm sort of using what I imagine to be 3, 6, 9, and 12 to start with. And then just filling in in between. Because whatever I do, it's going to be affected by the chain I'm pulling. And I really think I have to be kind of quick. And I'm going to use this neon multi-surface purple from Folk Art in between. 
because it's near the white, my theory is that I might have a chance for it to stay. And I really want this to work. I really want that to come out too. There's not very much left in there, but there are similar colors, so if I'm taking a bit of a risk, it'll be alright, I hope. Because this is way too much too much money for to whoops. <laughs> Yeah, I get confused. Never mind. I'll just do it on all of them. I don't think it's going to hurt anything. But they should be all the same if possible. So I used purple and if I can get it to come out, I'm just going to use a line of it. Nice if I could see it all. I probably should have picked a cooler part of the day to do this, but I'm really still very hopeful that I can get away with it. Just try and space them as evenly as you can. I still want a little gold in there, and it's not impossible that I might put a little white back in again. Boy, I'm shaking. I'm nervous now. <laughs> Alright, that's okay. So far, so good. I can't remember my other colors. What else do I have in there? I've got lots of turquoise. I don't want that painting to be sitting in the sun, and I'm hoping it will. it's all done moving. I want some darker turquoise is what I mean to say. And I used some copper and I really like it. Okay, fine. Do that way. You're gonna have to start pretty quick. I can see that now. I've got large ball chain and many pieces of it. So, that's not a bad start. I'm not sure what else I might want to have in there other than more gold and maybe some magenta. I think so. I think I see some magenta. And if I don't, it's okay. If I add some white near that magenta, it will create a beautiful pink. I really don't want to screw this up. And I'm loving that so far. I used some copper. I don't know if it will actually show up or not. I think I should probably use it in a line instead of... So you can see I'm just using the clock face and then going in between them. Hopefully you can see all that at least. So then I think I want, I know it's a kind of an odd color combination. I still have some Halloween colors stuck in my head. I really like orange and purple together, what can I say? And the only time I feel vindicated about it is at Halloween. Um, do I have anything else I want to put in there? Now, I really hope this turntable turns somewhat, because I might need it to be quick. So, the way I started is not necessarily the way I'm going to start again. I'm going to grab my ball chain and attempt to rotate that yay. The trick is to use enough paint, and in this case, I think I did. I'm going to do it again and let it stop at the edge and drip down over. Now because time is a wasting, ah, I can't get it to go all the way out. Okay, 
I can do this though. So that's switch from a loop. Take that out of the way. Wipe that up. You probably can't see that anyway. I'll fix it later. It's like I'm losing some of my purple. I want to go back into the center. So I'm just getting to the edge and letting that chain do its magic. run out of paint, go back with the straight chain instead of the loop chain, and just use it. Please let this turn out right. I'm kind of imagining that even if I ran a little short, I could probably steal some paint from close by without it getting too awfully funky. All right, I sell that thing I just did. There could be more of this tomorrow. That was a surprise. I think I want to put some gold around those, but I'm going to have to finish my first, my first complete round. I'm surprised. I should know enough to use enough paint. I'm hoping they're just going to sell up. Because if you stop and you rest your chain, it will deposit the paint that's on the chain. Now I'm, now I'm in high gear. Just going to keep going back and dragging more of that paint that's thick forward. Which reminds me, I use GAC 800 to prevent my paintings from cracking when my paint is heavy in all of my art, in all of my colors. Now a smaller ball chain might drag more color. I'm not sure if that's good logic or not. But I'm willing to try this just because. Now I've got some color dripping over the edge that you can't see. I really think this is going to wind up being a two-stage process, but I'd like it if it wasn't. And I'm certainly going to remember to use more color on a dry canvas for my pull, pull areas. I'm not really minding that that white circle is staying. I am trying to add the paint, relax the chain right off. I'm sure there's some other way I could do this, but I'm not sure what it is right now, so this is, this is how it's getting done. And agitated paint will often sell, and we're kind of liking the little cells that we're getting also. That is a nice breeze on a very hot day. So I'm going to switch. I'm going to throw that chain in the bucket, and I'm going to see what I can do with smaller ball chain and some gold paint. And I need to get my gold paint from right here. I think I missed one. It looks like I missed one. Good thing I've got big ball chains somewhere here too. All right, well that's a lot bigger than I wanted. I've got one more piece right here. Just try 
try and touch it to the edge to make it work. Throw that one in the bucket too. All right, so back to the back to the adding of the gold, which actually looks kind of cool, and I could leave it without too many qualms. I kind of want to check my circle and see if there's anything that I can add to make that a little more round. Assuming that it was round to begin with, which is maybe an assumption I shouldn't make. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not, I'm almost down to it. And what do I want to do there? Do I want there to be some orange? It's very light orange. I think of it as yellow, sort of Velveeta cheese yellow. I'm trying to remember to use enough paint. And I'm also wondering if there's anything else I should be using in there right now, like a lot more pink or, yeah, let's, let's hit it with the pink. I seem to have some filaments on there. It's very similar. All right, I've got two minutes left to tell you what I'm, whatever I'm going to tell you and chances of, come out, <laughs> come on. Chances of me remembering it aren't that great right now. I'm kind of hoping I can actually work some magic in two minutes. Depends on how fast I am, I guess. But I have enough training to give it a shot at least. Yep, I just decided that. I wanted that neon purple from Folk Art back again. Hey, even if it's not completely the same, it's it's more organic when it's different anyway. So if there's a part two, and there probably should be, I'll be back when the time runs out. So the least I'm going to ask you is if you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like what I do enough to watch more videos, on the end screens you're going to find a link to my channel where if you click created playlists or videos created playlists will get you nine lists of 100 each that's pretty cool I like that alright so I'm gonna try you know what I'm gonna start with it swallowing all those colors and let it fall right over I'm gonna do the same thing again And when I have extra, I'm going to go back to the one before. Hopefully you can see some of that. I seem to have finally figured out how much color to add. Let me move my bottles out of the way. All right, that's one minute. I don't know that I can get all the way around here in one minute. But there's nothing from gonna keep me from trying. Except for time, of course. I love you guys, there's over eighty thousand of you. If you are interested in helping support the studio, I could use all the help I can get, and it's a ten dollar minimum donation through PayPal or Patreon on the channel header or under the video. You'll see on the end screens in the videos list, there's a video, that, there's an exhibition video on the end screen that will show you this month's prize drawing winner's choice. So this is pretty cool. Even though I like that uh, configuration it was before I pulled it, I don't mind this too. And the smaller chain does work the way I thought it did. It's, uh, it pulls a, along a larger amount of paint. So I'm going to be gone in a second. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying I'll touch that